Okay? So in this video lesson, we shall now take up the next three problems of exercise number 7.2, which basically deals with problem of integration by the method of substitution. Okay. So problem number 7. Integrate x into root of x plus 2. Integrate x into root of x plus 2. So write it as let i be equal to integral x into root of x plus 2 dx. Okay. So if you look into this list, if the problem con consists of x dx as a factor, you have that here. You know x and dx. x dx is a factor. Then put x squared plus k equals t. Or whatever the term present inside the bracket as t. So I just put x plus 2 is equal to t. If x plus 2 is equal to t, then I, I can also write x equal to 2 minus t. x equals to, sorry, x is equal to t minus 2. Put x plus 2 equals t, so x is equal to t minus 2. Now differentiate this, differentiating with respect to x. The differential coefficient of x is 1. With respect to x, differential coefficient of x with respect to x is 1. Differential coefficient of 2 is 0. And this is dt over dx. Or dx is equal to dt. dx is equal to dt. And x becomes equal to t minus 2. So problem is integral. Replace this x by t minus 2 into root of x plus 2 dx. What is x plus 2? t. And what is dx? dx is dt. So the problem becomes like this. So i equals integral t into root t. Say I am now multiplying t into root t. t is t to the power of 1. Root t means t to the power of half. So this becomes t to the power of 3 by 2. Integral 3, t to the power of 3 by 2 minus 2 into root t minus 2 into t to the power of half because root t is half into dt. Okay. So now you can integrate this by separating. So this becomes i equals integral t to the power of 3 by 2 dt minus 2 is a constant. Write it outside the integrals sign and the remaining is t to the power of half dt. So this I write it. Now integrate. i equals t to the power of 3 by 2 plus 1 over 3 by 2 plus 1 minus 2 times of t to the power of half plus 1 divided by half plus 1 plus c the constant of integration. So i equals now 3 by 2 plus 1 is t to the power of 5 by 2 over 5 by 2 minus 2 times of t to the power of 3 by 2 over 3 by 2 plus c or this is 2t to the power of 2 goes to the numerator into t to the power of 5 by 2 by 5 minus this 2 and this 2 goes to the numerator and 2 into 2 is becomes 4 here 2 as it 2 comes to the numerator 2 into 2 becomes 4 and t to the power of 3 by 2 by 3 plus c the last step is to substitute for t so it is 2 by 5 t what is t x plus 2 x plus 2 to the power of 5 by 2 minus 4 by 3 into x plus 2 to the power of 3 by 2 plus c that's going to be the answer ok so here you should it's a, it's some special steps are done here because you put x plus 2 equals t and you are here you are taking the value of x in terms of t so that you can integrate in terms of t and finally substitute for t ok So problem 7 is over, problem number 8, let i be equal to integral x into root of 1 plus 2x squared dx. 
uh, x dx has come, so for x dx you put x squared plus k equals t. So the substitution is put 1 plus 2x squared equals t. Now I'll differentiate, differentiating with respect to x. Oh, this implies 0, differential coefficient of 1 with respect to x is 0, plus this is 4x dx equals dt. I just want x dx to be replaced because the function has only x dx. I have 4x dx. Therefore, just x dx is dt by 4. So here, this x and dx terms can be replaced by dt, dt by 4. Therefore, i becomes equal to integral root of 1 plus 2x squared. It is root of t because 1 plus 2x squared is t into x dx. x dx is dt by 4. The 4 being a constant, take it outside the integral sign. So, 1 by 4 times integral root t dt. Or i equals 1 by 4 into root t means t to the power of half. t to the power of half means if you integrate t to the power of half plus 1. That is half plus 1 is 3 by 2 over 3 by 2 plus c. That is or i equals 2 goes to the numerator becomes 2 by 4 into t to the power of 3 by 2 and by 3 this is denominator 3 plus c. Therefore final answer is i equals 2 by uh, 4 into 3 is 12. So 2 by 12 becomes 1 by 6 times of t. t is what? 1 plus 2x squared. This is 1 plus 2x squared to the power of 3 by 2 plus c. That is the answer for problem number 8. Okay? Uh, problem number 9. Let i be equal to integral. This is the problem. 4x plus 2 into root of x squared plus x plus 1 dx. In any problem on substitution, you just have to first look into the replacement factor, whether by substituting any factor of the given problem, integrand equal to t, you get a replacement factor. If you see here, if you substitute 2x x squared plus x plus 1, as you differentiate x squared, x squared becomes differential coefficient becomes 2x and plus 1. I think you can take some common factor and do. So let's try like this. Put x squared plus x plus 1 equals t. Differentiating with respect to x, this implies differential coefficient of x squared is 2x plus differential coefficient of x is 1 plus differential coefficient of 1 is 0 equals dt over dx because if you differentiate t, right hand side t with respect to x, it becomes dt by dx or you can write it as 2x plus 1 into dx equals dt. This is 2x plus 1 into dx equals dt. But here you have 4x plus 2. So what can you do? This implies, I multiply by 2 here. Multiplying by 2. Multiplying by 2 on both sides. On both sides. So this implies, implies i equals integral. Okay, I put it in the next step. But here I will just multiply. Uh, this becomes after multiplying by 2, this becomes 4x plus 2 into dx equals 2 dt. So, I got 4x plus 2 into dx, a replacement factor as 2 dt. Therefore, therefore, i equals integral uh, root of x squared plus x plus 1 is root of t because x squared plus x plus 1 is t and 4x plus 2 into dx, the replacement factor 4x plus 2 into dx is 2 dt. Now 2 is a constant, keep it outside the integral sign, root t into dt. So i equals 2 into, what is the integration of root t? t to the power of half plus 1, that is t to the power of 3 by 2 over 3 by 2 plus c. Or i equals, 2 goes to the numerator, so 2 into 2 becomes 4, 4 by 3 into t to the power of 3 by 2 plus c. Okay, 
So I equals 4 by 3 into, now substitute for t. What is that you have put for t as? x squared plus x plus 1. So this is 4 by 3 into x squared plus x plus 1 to the power of 3 by 2 plus c. And this is the answer. Okay?